Hey, hey, we were Snappers. This is Two Hundred the Great. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Minecraft Jurassic World Edition. Today, we're actually picking up more or less where we left off last episode. I am actually just now on my way back from our caving expedition. Um, decided to uh, do a little bit more after we called it quits uh, in the episode uh, because it was a, actually a really good cave system. And uh, I figured, uh, you know, just kept going. I was like, you know what, I'm going to go until my pick is almost ready to break. And uh, so you can see here, our, uh, our Archaeology 3 pick is basically have no durability left. Um, and I ran out of inventory space. I, kept, I mean, we do have these packs, and I probably could have filled them with stuff. I don't know. I, I need to clean that stuff out anyway. So, but anyway, uh, our inventory was getting full. I ran out of torches. Our pick was about to break. So I'm like, all right, it's finally time to head back. Let's go ahead and do that. So... Uh, we did have a good, we did get a pretty decent haul though. We uh, even though we were using the archaeology pick, we managed to get 22 biological fossils from fossils in archaeology. We got five scarab gems, so I think we had just one when we called it quits last time. Um, and uh, like literally five minutes after that episode, because I, I went for a little while while that episode was rendering or like saving out, I went and did a little bit of caving then too. Well, hello boys, how you doing? Um, I did a little bit then too, and I literally like five minutes after I finished the recording found two more, so we were at the three we needed, and I was like, well, I'm just going to go until this pick breaks, or is about to break, and so we kept going, and I got, so I've got five Scarab Gems, which is awesome, uh, and we do have, we have like over a stack and a half of the Jurassic Craft fossils, we've got a couple of frozen meats, which aren't a real big deal now that we've got, um, now that we've got the tar drop stuff, because those biofossils basically give the exact same stuff as the frozen meats, uh, and they're a lot easier to get. Um, okay, but let's see, let's see, so our diamond can go in here. Let's put... Oh no, we can put some lapis there. I need, I need to clean, <laughs> I need to clean out all my storage stuff. Alright, we're gonna pop, we're gonna pop some stuff in here for now. Okay, so, we're gonna pop the skulls, the relic scraps. Uh, the coal, the volcanic rock, the marble. Uh, heck, we'll even pop the gold in here for now. Um, and the lapis. All right, let's take the rest of this stuff over to the lab. And what I think we might attempt to do today is uh, put a couple of these scarab gems to good use. Uh, we'll go over and we'll check on Clifford and Gree and just kind of see where they're at with their uh, aging process. Um, and if I think they're old enough, we may attempt to uh, to tame one or both of those guys. It, little, it scares me a little bit because we had such difficulty getting them tamed in the first place. I think we went through like two or three different grees before we finally got one that survived the taming process. <sighs> um, I know when we try to tame one, like Amber got all upset and she tried, she killed one of them. Like it was this whole, whole thing. So, we're gonna give it a shot. Maybe we'll attempt to tame on Gree, since he's kind of the red shirt of the Allosauruses anyway. Um, and, uh, I feel bad saying that, but I really don't want to kill Clifford. If, if one of those Allosauruses is gonna go down to a horrible taming accident, uh, I'd rather it be Gree than Clifford, because Clifford was our first ever Allosaurus. He's been with, he's like one of our first dinosaurs. Um, actually, we need to go in over here. Um, but, uh, yeah, ideally, nobody will die. Ooh! I actually spent a little time on the visitor center, not since last episode, but you probably didn't see it last episode. Um, I spent a little bit of time. Or that's not what I did. There we go. Uh, put some new stat, uh, some new dinos in here. So we've got uh, a terror bird and a henidus down here. So we've got some biofossils that I use to make some more statues. And I think up top I even switched some out because like the we used to have a parasaur up here, but the new parasaurs, we've talked about how them being so much smaller, that translated to their skeleton. So like we had a parasaur here and it was a tiny little thing. It, it was like lying flat. It was tiny. It wasn't useful. So I put a, I grabbed some of the tar biofossils, which allow you to, uh, the tar biofossils allow you to do the same thing as the regular biofossils in creating skeletons. Um, but at the same time, it uh, they're they're a little darker because they're coated with tar, and it's the uh, uh, it's the uh, the the ice age kind of guys. So we've got uh, a mammoth. Yeah, well, that is a mammoth, <laughs> and this is a saber cat smiling on. Uh, and then we've got the terror bird down there too. So we've got a couple more of those around in here. Uh, still not totally happy with the museum aspect of the visitor center here. Uh, and we still need to replace this stupid staircase. At some point, we will eventually get this place up and running to where we want it to be. These are the kinds of things we probably will make sure that we're bothering to do uh, before episode 100 when the world download happens. Um, but let's jump in here really quickly um, and let's get some of this stuff uh, cooking. 
All right, so let's go ahead and that, that, go. All right, I don't know how many of these we've got, but we're just gonna let this run for a minute and uh, see how it goes. Um, make sure we get some in all of them because we're gonna, gonna need the space. We ended up getting a ton of dry scrap fossils, which was good. Which was good. I don't know that we're like actively anticipating uh, any Jurassic Craft DNAs at the moment. I mean, I guess we could uh, we could potentially be looking for um, some Spinosaur DNA or something. Uh, let's see, split these. But uh, even then, the, the section of the park the Spinosaur is going into is uh, is going to be a while before we get to that. Uh, and then we do have a handful of these, so let's go ahead. That'll be fine. Get all this stuff out. Ooh, ooh, some interesting stuff there. Got Mr. Science Cow. Ah, I was gonna say. I feel like I put these somewhere. Ooh. So we haven't cleaned these out since the last time we were in here anyway. And you can go there. Alright, and then let's start taking a peek. T-Rex DNA. Oh my gosh, so much junk. Um, ooh, and we can get these frozen meat. Throw those in there too. So, yeah. Yeah, so we got some stuff cooking here. We'll see if anything interesting comes out. Another Tylosaur DNA. Not bad. Some sand. Some sand and bone meal. Let's not get crazy now. Fuchsia soreness. That's not the worst, but it doesn't really do us a whole lot of good either. Um, ch -ch 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 -ch. What about you two? Anything interesting? Calamimus. Nothing. It's hoping for maybe a dry sore. All right, we're gonna have to worry about this stuff a little bit later because we just do not have the inventory space. And honestly, I don't know if we even have the storage space in here for any more dry scrap DNA. I really. Oh, it's not going to be an episode, but at some point I need to take a minute and just be like, all right, let's go ahead and clean up all of our stuff. All right, so bone meal, go there. Let's get these DNAs in here. Um, just going to put these in here for now. Um, all right, and then we've got some DNAs here that we need to... This chest is full of unsorted DNAs. Uh, and all right, so this chest is... Becoming full of unsorted DAs. Oop, we got some volcanic rock. Okay. All right, but we do have scarab gems. So let's go ahead and we are going to head back to the Allosaur enclosure. Oh, creeper. No, 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 no. Oh my gosh, move. Don't shake your head at me. Don't shake your head at me. There we go. All right, where did you come from? I'm out of torches, so it doesn't really matter. Might have come from in here because I don't have this lit up at all. Um, I, I so I went through and no, that's an actual block. Um, all of this is within carpenter blocks uh, now, which means that they shouldn't it shouldn't be spawnable. I don't think carpenter blocks, even with stuff in them, is spawnable. The problem is, um, let me grab my axe real quick. The problem is with carpenter blocks, if you put so even if we even if we take out these and we like try and put it in the side, the only direction that these paleograph logs will face is upwards with the carpenter blocks. So it doesn't really allow us to do this in that manner. So I don't know. We're <laughs> I've stalled out on that for the moment. Uh, we may have to figure out a way to do that without uh, leaving that susceptible to spawning. Um, all right. So allosauruses. Let's go. And check and see how everybody is doing. Um, probably sleeping. But what we'll do is we're gonna go grab Bree. Actually, we're gonna grab both Bree and Clifford. Uh, all right. So tool pack. All of my stuff is so unorganized right now. Uh, yes. All right. But we'll take take these two. Go. And Bree, come with me. And Clifford. And come with me as well. Clifford? 
There we go. <laughs> like, what are you doing? All right. So, Allosaurus, Allosaurus. So we've got Green Clipper there. Uh, we're gonna go attempt to tame these guys away from Amber because I know we attempted to tame one near Amber at one point, and uh, she turned around and killed them because they're like, "Oh, you better not be hurting my daddy," because she was already tamed, and that didn't work out real well. So, oh, we got creepers hanging out in the Stegosaur enclosure. That's less than ideal. We are gonna. Oh, it's becoming day, I guess. But we're gonna go. On. Where's a good place for us to even do this anymore? Um, all of our big enclosure areas have dinosaurs in them now. Uh, I guess we could do it out here. Although I'm worried that um, uh, Casper and or Coco would potentially swoop in and try and save us. We could go out to the Memorial Garden. That might be a kind of a morbid, morbid setting, I suppose, considering, uh, <laughs> considering what may or may not happen. Uh, what's... I've got tons of relics grabs processing in here. Got it. Um, okay, so I wanted to check and see... Where did this pick come from? I'm breaking Fortune 3 Archaeology 3 Efficient. Did, did I get that out of like a relic scrap or something? Here. Is that a thing? Um, okay, hold on. We need, we need an iron sword. And honestly, we need... Some armor. Yes, let's do five. Let's just take. Let's just take our diamonds for now. Um, let's let's go ahead. So we need we need a shirt and we need pants. I think that'll finish off our armor for the moment. I think any armor we may have previously had probably got destroyed by the aliens, which several of you guys have asked about, and we are. Um, in my traveling out to that dig site um, and on my way back, we found some potential clues as to where we might be needing to look. I still need to formalize that plan, maybe do a little bit of scouting stuff and things like that, but we will be getting them back very, very soon, hopefully. Um, all right, so let's actually go and cheat. I'm gonna put these levels into this chest. So we've got a little bit of armor in case the Allosaur comes and attacks us, which they will. I'm breaking protection four. Perfect. All right. So we got a little bit of armor, and we'll just put our pants on. Uh, good measure here. Okay. Now, um, we needed. So that's gonna grant me more protection than this will. Which my stuff is just so unorganized. We've got we've got there's pokeballs in there. It's like what is going on? <laughs> oh. So much stuff to do. So much stuff to do. Lots of organization. I have a storage room and yet still everything is unorganized. It's amazing how I can make that work. Okay. Um, and... Is there a crafting? But yeah. All right. In an iron sword, because somebody told me the first time I tried doing this, I was doing it with my diamond sword. And uh, yeah, ba basically just about killed everybody. Um, so let's, let's try and not do that. So all goes according to plan. We should, we should have two. Uh, we should have two scarab gems left over, um, and I think we'll be good to go on Allosaurus. We probably, my gut would be like I would want to mess around, like because you can, you can use scarab gems to make. I don't know if you can make armor with them, but I know you can make like tools, stronger tools, or at least cool looking tools with them problem is they've now also added the ability to tame not only the um, the Allosauruses and the T-Rexes and stuff, but you can now, if we make the Aquatic Scarab Gem with the Dominican Amber, which we also have a couple of, which we've got from uh, analyzing and stuff, um, we can also now tame the Spinosaurus and the Mosasaurs. So, we probably will just end up saving the scarab gems for all that taming stuff and we'll have to do another expedition and get a bunch more if we decide we want to uh, use them for something else all right this is not the most ideal place to be doing this but i don't think there's anything they can necessarily hurt so there's Gree jr he's up actually let's um do we have a whip I saw a whip somewhere. Crap, where did I just see a whip? I... 
I have I have a whip somewhere, I feel like. So I was thinking I should have potentially tried that. Oh wait, I had a ton of torches in my creatures pack? Gosh, I'm so unorganized. I'm so unorganized. Um, okay, so mm. Okay. We are going to Okay, first of all, first of all, first of all. Alright. Health is 15 out of 58. He is untamed. Okay. I'm really nervous about doing this, guys. Alright. So, it's 8. So it went down 7. Okay. There we go. Okay, so now he's all sleepy. And we do that. Use the Scarab Gem. Own Retort over the Gray. Okay. Okay. Awesome. And his health is back up. Awesome. All right. So, Gree, an uh, order bone. Okay. Awesome. Let us, uh, tool pack, maybe? I don't know where I've got all this stuff. Uh, nope. Nope. Maybe creature pack, because there's stuff in there that's not supposed to be. Yes. Awesome. I'm so glad that we are completely unorganized. All right. Uh, tool pack. Creature pack. All right. So, Gree. You're such a good boy! Good boy, Gree! Congratulations on taming! Okay, so, Gree has been tamed. Now, similarly, Clifford, let's see what his stats are. So, Clifford has. Ooh! <gasps> uh oh. Okay, we're gonna have to be a little more careful. Um, he's very happy, but. Oh, okay, one slice and he's down now. Okay, grab another Scarab Gem. I love the animations, man. Okay, age 12, carnivore, owner toward him with the gray. Clifford is happy, I am happy. Let's get him up. All right, he's on wander. Let's catch him. Let's go get, okay, so this is gonna be a bit I'm glad we went far away because there is a chance that when we bring him back in, that uh, Amber could potentially get upset uh, because they did, they were aggroed, they were angry. I think that's potentially what happened between the two Rexes um, when um, now Lucille, uh, when we moved Megatron into her enclosure, um, because we had just tamed Megatron, and he had was angry at us. He was aggroed on us. He was ang he might have hit us at least once, and he was he was tamed at that point. But I think Lucille potentially carried some additional resentment from him hurting me, or she was like already keyed in on tagging in on him. So as soon as we opened that up, and or I can't remember. I think Megatron might have attacked first. I don't remember, um, but I think one or both of them may have harbored some resentment because they were previously untamed. All right, so Clifford, how you doing, buddy? Good boy. Okay. All right. Amber's kind of keyed in with her tether there. Free, how you doing, bud? Don't fight, don't fight, don't fight, don't fight. Okay, okay, we might be okay. So let's get these packs back out because I don't know which one's got what because we're so unorganized. Okay, so we do have another scratching post and we do have another tethered log. So let's go ahead and put both of these down in here. So I mean, they were reasonably happy to begin with, but okay. So her tethered log is one, two, three, four. Um, do I have any? I'm just use a piece of cobble for now, and I'll come back and fix it. Um, I don't have any acacia on hand at the moment, but one, two. Let's do one, two, three, four. Uh, 
Alright, and then new tether log there. Okay, and then I'll put a scratching post right there. So if somebody wants to play, they can come up to the front. It doesn't seem like they share real well, so Gree, Gree, Junior, buddy, little guy. Alright, well you guys, as long as you play nice, nobody seems to be angry. So I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Okay, awesome. Well, very good. Very good. So that expedition was worth it, man. We got, we got, we've got three more Scarab Gems left over. One will eventually be used to tame Rexy, which, um... I don't know when that's gonna happen. I, we haven't been in that area a ton, so I don't I don't think Rexy is old enough for me to go ahead and try taming at this point. Welcome to the Badland Margo. Do I have any acacia up here? No, I don't need logs. How's everybody doing? How's we do everybody doing? I see everybody. Everybody's alive, so that's encouraging. Uh, how about the Ankylosaurs, huh? Everybody accounted for? Doser Dolly and Amara. Awesome. Beauty. Alright, so. Let's go find a Nicacia tree that we can chop down. Maybe one of these guys. Alright, so first of all, let's get the Pokeballs off the bar. Got our Taming Sword here. We'll move that. Uh, and we'll get an Axe. Okay. And let's chop down one of these trees. So that we can go ahead and... Oh, heck, we don't even need to necessarily... Yeah. Um... Huh. Why not? <laughs> we can just do that. Actually, no, here we go. Here we go. This would be better. Leave that there. Don't want to mess with the natural too much, but if we have this tiny little acacia tree here, we'll take this guy out. Beauty. Okay, now let's go fix up that enclosure a little bit. Hopefully everybody's still playing nice. Really, really don't like looking for scarab gems like that. <laughs> so, well, it's not that I don't like it. It's just I'm sick of having to do it because we've had to, we've gone through so many scarab gems. So hopefully, hopefully these guys just play nice and are happy and uh, don't kill each other or or anything at all. And uh, hopefully we'll be good. It'll be great. Oop, nope, that one will break. Okay, one, two, three, four. Let's take the log back up. There we go. And just to confirm, Clifford, overjoyed, tamed by Tortimer, looking good. How are we doing? Hunger, health, everything's awesome. Three. How, why are you so much older than Clifford? That doesn't make any sense. I guess you were just sitting to a closer area being loaded. Uh, but everybody's happy and healthy. Amber, overjoyed to have her older brothers back in the fold. Awesome. Now everybody can move around. They won't just be sitting there. <sighs> Except for when they're addicted to <laughs> addicted to tethered logs. Alrighty, guys. I think that's going to be it for today. I think that's what we wanted to accomplish. Um, and uh, probably next time we'll be looking at some hotel-related stuff, maybe. Um, I got some new design related ideas, uh, I, I guess I didn't really talk about this at all, but I got back from my trip from Puerto Rico. We went on a mission trip, that's where I was all last week, um, and uh, I guess that's when the, the caving expedition episode went up, was last week while I was in Puerto Rico, um, and uh, last year when I went to Puerto Rico, we went last March in 2015, so over you know a year and a half ago basically. Um, is when we went the first time, and that was just before I started this series, and it kind of inspired me to do a more colorful, kind of, uh, Latin American sort of, um, style to some of our builds, and obviously I'm not doing, a, you know, I'm not, I'm not qualified to really do that perfectly, but that's what we've been trying to shoot for. More than the standard, you know, medieval or whatever kind of Minecrafty builds, trying to do more colorful stuff. Um, when the vlog finally does go up, it's, um, I've got some work I need to do on it, but you'll see some, uh, some familiar things in that vlog because I took inspiration from some real world things like for this March and, and things like that. Um, but it gave me some good ideas while we were down there this year um, on some things I might want to change on some existing stuff or things I want to use going forward, things like that. So some of the design ideas I had started with on the uh, hotel um, are potentially going to be changing. Hey Gollum, hey uh, 
Trinity! Sari's back there. Key seems to be with her. How's everybody here doing? Doing good? Oop, he's on the bubble maker. Mini me does not seem to be super happy. Uh, but he also doesn't have a, a mate or anything, so we need to get some more Hennedis DNA. Gotta get some more dodos going. I think we've got some more dodo DNA, so um, maybe next time we'll do a little bit of a little more population of the uh, petting zoo. Get everybody at least a friend uh, if we can. I don't think we have any more Hennedis DNA, so we probably can't do that. But um, these guys have got a friend. We could get another quagga and a couple more dodos or something, maybe uh, get this a little more populated. Before we uh, jump into the uh, hotel but yeah so I've got I started working on some stuff up here I guess I'll show well no no we're gonna call it a day for now we're gonna call it a day for now and we'll look at hotels and stuff next time for sure uh, but it's not worth uh, getting into at this point so thank you guys so much for watching we got back from our expedition and we got our uh, our two beloved allosaurs uh, retained so that's exciting we're starting to come back uh, fully from the, uh, the radiation attack although we still like I said uh, still gathering those clues and we will be going on that expedition very soon in order to track down where um, Poseidon or Leopleurodon and Tabasco, our uh, Philophosaur, uh, have gone because they uh, it turned up missing after uh, after the attack and so we're assuming that they've been taken but we'll just kind of have to do our expedition and find out what happened for sure. Uh, but anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I've been Tormor the Great and you guys have been great. Uh, but yeah, coming back from Puerto Rico, a lot of new design, inspiration things. So uh, keep an eye out for uh, some future episodes as we implement some of that stuff into what we're doing in the park here. Yeah guys, I've been Tormor the Great and you guys are great. Make sure those likes come subscriptions for me guys and I'll see y'all back here next time. Alrighty guys, have a good one.